All right, let's explore this place. What is this? Oh no. Hey guys, this is Blob World. So today I'm gonna show you guys a color wheel combination lock that I've made. So this is a part of my new level that I'm creating. It's part of my Blob Escape series, escape rooms. But as you can see, this room has a color combination of six different panels. And each of them will cycle between five colors as it is right, as it is right now. But uh, this was a challenge for me to build. I had some inspiration from uh, other Minecraft YouTubers online. But uh, I'd like to show you kind of what I made here. As you can see, this is quite the contraption that I ended up with. It was a lot bigger than I expected it to be. But what I have here, is, these are the five different color combinations you see here. Only one will show through this glass. And I basically duplicated this machine six times all the way down. So a big challenge that I ran into is that I really wanted to have this have a really small, narrow profile. So I had to make everything just in a two wide machine. And this third space I use as just a air insulation gap, so my redstone don't run into each other. But uh, how it works is not so complicated. Well, it, it is a little bit complicated. But you've got four pistons here. So the fourth one is right here. So when you push the button, each piston will cycle per their timing. Right now, this thing moves counterclockwise to the screen right now. But when you push the button, the uh, piston here on the bottom will fire first, pushing these two up. Then I think uh, this one, I forgot. Oh, that was some lag. Okay, well, it looks like the second piston to fire is this one. Then the third piston this top one here, which will push the wool down. And the last one is this one, which is a sticky piston, which will grab the last wool and pull it back, basically finishing the whole cycle. But uh, all of this starts with this button input press, so I've got this tied to a quick pulse mechanism, so once you push it, just get a quick flash of signal through the rest of the uh, redstone circuit. So as you can see, this thing only flashed for a brief second. And that lets me power the pistons, or move them, activate them very quickly. Because otherwise you'd be waiting a long time for each piston to fire and retract. So that works pretty good. Spend a little bit of time trying to make it more efficient, space efficient, and timing efficient. I think there's probably a little bit more room to go, but pretty happy with the results so far. So that's just the first half of this puzzle, or the mechanism. <coughs> the second half is what you actually use to get an output. So once you have the correct uh, color in the right position, you should be getting a signal out the back, which will turn this one off. And here I have a six wide AND gate. So once all six of these are correct, it'll power this redstone torch, which will send a signal out this way. So I can show how it briefly works right here. So here I've constructed another cycler. So instead of five pieces of wool, I've got four pieces of glass and one piece of wool. 
So how this works is once you've found the right combination or the right option for this specific cell, which in this case is the white wool. So as you can see, the white wool is now facing the player. So this is the correct combination for this position. And here you'll see that the white position, the white wool has moved to this location. So the white wool is now able to receive power by this redstone torch, which will send a positive signal out to this redstone torch, which will be included into this AND mechanism. So otherwise, the other four options are just glass blocks. So glass blocks do not receive any power, or they do not conduct any power, so as you can see now, the glass block is in this position, and there is no power being sent through. But, uh, so basically, these two machines are two cyclers back to back. And once I figured it out how to make it fit within the two block wide cell, it worked out pretty well. So. Uh, that's basically it. I've got six of these all in parallel. And the goal here is really for the player in the escape room to find the clues, which will tell them which correct color should be in each of these cells. But that's all, so I can give you just maybe a slow tour of how I built each machine. So, in case you want to copy it for your own world. So let's start down here. Uh, there's a lot of redstone that's can't see that well. But uh so here it is. I've got some delay timers on here just to help power the pistons in the correct timing. You can see this one's set to the max time ticks. This one's uh three ticks. Or um, I don't know what you call it. Uh the back circuit is here. It's almost a mirror of the first half of it, but not quite. But essentially it works the same way, so you still got more timing, repeaters, pistons, the output circuit. Okay, but that's essentially it. Um, if, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to build this or something, let me know. But otherwise, you can expect to see this in my next escape room puzzle. So if you want to see how to build it yourself, feel free to download the world map and check it out. And if you like this, check out my escape room puzzles yourself. Just uh, click the link below in the descriptions and have fun. Thanks.